Hi, first graders. Your lesson today in reading is about main idea. And we've talked in class about main idea is what the text is mostly about. So there are key details in a text, but the main idea is what the whole text is mostly about. We like to know what the main idea is to be able to express to someone what a story is about or what an informational text is about without them having to read the whole thing. Now in class recently, we've been working on main idea and what we've really struggled with is we've wanted to use the title as our main idea. We want to say that the little red hen is all about the little red hen, but we've been working on making sure that we are using um, what we've learned in the story or in the text to help us describe what the whole thing is mostly about and giving a little more information than just a title. And today, you're going to be reading about meerkats and dolphins, but the main idea choices I'm giving you are not, is it all about meerkats or all about dolphins? You're gonna have to tell me a little bit more. Is it all about what they eat? Is it all about the group they live in? Is it all about how they protect themselves? You'll have to read and listen to all the details to find out what these two passages are mostly about. So I'm gonna do an example with you. I have a small pa passage and I have some choices. Now you can't see my passage. Well, actually I might be able to flip the camera so that you can also see my passage. All right, so I'll read this out to you. It says, homemade pizza is delicious. First, make the dough from flour, water, and yeast. After that, begin making the tomato sauce. Next, add any vegetables you like. Then, bake it in the oven. After a short time, the kitchen begins to smell delicious. Soon, it's ready to eat. Now, the main idea of this passage is, remember, main idea is what it's mostly about. So my choice A says, pizza is made from flour. Now I know that's true because I see right here in the text that the dough is made from flour, but that's just a small piece. The rest of this text does not talk to me about pizza being made out of flour. It tells me about the tomato sauce, how it is baked, and gives me lots more other details about the pizza. So I'm gonna say no, it is not A, pizza is made from flour. B how to make a homemade pizza. It tells me my first detail is to make the dough. My next detail is adding vegetables, which is telling me more about how to make it. Then bake it in the oven. That also tells me how to make a homemade pizza. I'm finding out that all of the details in this passage are telling me how to make a homemade pizza. So, so far B is my best answer, but we always check them all. C, pizza is easy to make. Now, I don't remember it telling me that pizza is easy to, easy to make. I think it's true. That all looks very simple. But this whole thing is not trying to tell you that pizza is easy to make. So I'm going to not choose pizza is easy to make as my main idea. My last choice, pizza makes the kitchen smell delicious. I totally agree with D. And I found it in the passage, the kitchen begins to smell delicious. But... The rest of the paragraph is not telling me all about how the kitchen smells delicious. When it tells me how to make the dough and how to add vegetables, those details are not about a kitchen smelling delicious. So I'm going to go with B, how to make a homemade pizza. Do you see how we looked at all of the details and noticed that those details were all part of the passage and all part of the text, but only one of those choices was what the paragraph or the passage was mostly about. In your next slides, you're going to be reading passages on meerkats and dolphins. You may choose to read these on your own. They are first grade friendly. Then choose to push the play button and listen to me read those passages to you so you can get two times reading it. Remember, the more we read, the more fluent readers we become. Fluency means we read smooth like a snake, not hopping like a bunny. We don't want to read like this. So read it twice and answer your questions.